Well, you probably noticed gas prices going up, and there's yet another reason why you might see more of that. Smooth roads, sidewalks, and a new and improved skyway. It's all part of a plan to improve city infrastructure using revenue from a gas tax hike. Jacksonville City Council got to discuss some concerns this morning. Undersized Troy Kless was along for the ride. The tank of city coffers could fill up with a gas tax increase from six cents to 12 cents, raising up to nearly $1 billion for needed infrastructure projects, says Mayor Lenny Curry. By leveraging this funding source, we generate this fund funding from all people who use our roadways. City Council Member Terrence Freeman says after decades of broken promises, he wants assurances the gas tax will go to communities with the greatest need. Because I'm getting asked by the community still. Um, how can we have the assurance that those areas that were left behind who may not, that might not have made a list, but when you walk the streets, it rains on Monday, it's still flooded on Wednesday. The mayor's plan calls for 72 projects, including stormwater drain improvements and maintenance of drainage ditches, as well as transforming the obsolete skyway from a two mile monorail to a 10 mile urban circulator needed, says JTA CEO Nat Ford, to reach a critical mass of commuters. This is not just downtown focus. There is opportunities for these technologies to be used in a lot of our uh, uh, less dense neighborhoods. The so-called Jobs for Jacks program, the mayor says, would create more than 7,000 new jobs. As for what you pay at the pump, leaders that were discussing this proposal say that in other neighboring counties, which do have the total 12 cent gas tax, they say that gas prices are actually on an average lower. While several council members have voiced opposition, supporters, including the mayor, say now is the time to act. The longer we wait, the worse it gets and the more expensive, expensive it becomes to fix it. Speaking with Council President Tommy Hazuri, he says he wanted to have this in front of a committee of the whole council so everyone can get their questions answered. And in the interest of transparency, another meeting on this subject will be held on May 12th. Reporting Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.